It's time to review one of the new beers from Sainsbury's. This is Mad Squirrel and their Roadkill. New England IPA coming in at 6.5%. But well, what's it going to be like? Keep watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to review the first beer from the new stuff from Sainsbury's. This is one Roadkill. It's a New England IPA from Mad Squirrel. I mean, this beer has been out a while um, in terms of the name, whether it's been rebrewed and it's different for a recipe, I'm not sure. But I know this was available at least a year ago. I think it was also available in Morrison's, but it never, ever appeared in my Morrison's. So it's a New England IPA and it's got... Um, quite a few different hops. He's got Citra, Mosaic, Amarillo, El Dorado and Ohio 07. Five hops. Sometimes seems a bit of an overkill. The last beer that we had from uh, Mad Square had five hops in it, but it also had some mango puree, which completely ruined it, in my opinion. So let's crack this open, get it in a glass and see whether it's going to be any good. It's the first of the Sainsbury's ones. Probably one that I've got higher expectations on because it's a New England IPA, because I know I've... I know it's been out for, been out for a while, so it must be something that's re <coughs> reasonably popular. So we've got beer in a glass. It's a lovely sort of orange. There's a nice sort of haze to it, but it's a lot more orangey than sort of custard. Very densely compacted head. Two fingers of of that head. Probably pretty much quite white. It looks very soft and pillowy in terms of that head. So let's see what the aromas are like. Yeah, I mean, there's a sort of tropical passion fruit, mango, quite a lot of orange in there, citrus fruits. Smells pretty good, actually. Quite sort of tooty fruity tasting. So let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, everyone. Well, the star of it straight away is that mouthfeel. It is really creamy really soft pillowy very very lovely it's got a nice sort of creaminess there's a there's enough body in this a lot of these beers we've had recently have been really light but they've been lacking a little bit in body but this has got a really sort of a medium sort of body really sort of creamy sort of mouthfeel to it flavor wise though there's a little bit of almost slightly bittery orange on the front which is a is not really what you would expect from a New England IPA. There's orange and there's passion fruit. Mango in there. It's similar to the aromas, as you would expect. And then as you, I'm waiting for it to develop a little bit. It never really goes that, goes anywhere. Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting sort of flavour, that orange up front. All those hops in there. Not really, you know, I mean, uh, did I say Amarillo? I did say Amarillo. To me, to me, Amarillo is the sort of big sort of hot flavour here. You're getting quite a lot of orange up front. It's quite, there's a sort of slight bitterness to that orange. You're getting a little bit of that sort of orange rind. And then you, I'm waiting for it to do something else. And it doesn't. There's no real sort of back end. You're just getting a big hit of orange up front. Maybe a bit of passion fruit and a little bit of mango, but it's it's much more orangey. It's almost it's almost got more of a flavour of a West Coast beer, but it has definitely the East Coast mouthfeel. There's obviously a good lot of oats have gone into this beer because it's definitely really creamy and it's um it's certainly got that sort of great mouthfeel that you want. Great tick of the box for mouthfeel. Um, quite apt that it's in a day of glass because it's got that sort of that creamy day of sort of ability. But for me, that orange is just too harsh up front. It's got too much of a bitterness to me. To me. Um, and I'm waiting for those other flavours to come through. And I'm not. And it's again, it's always one of these beers. It's got five different hops in it. But really, it almost tastes like it's an Amarillo and Mosaic sort of um, beer, really. There's, you're not really picking up the Citra. You're not picking up the, the, the sort of... Um, I mean, both um, the the other two hops, El Dorado, Idaho 7, you can set a lot more tropicalness with them. You're not really getting huge amounts. Bit of passion fruit, that's about it. 
It's not bad, but it ain't going to win any awards for best supermarket beer 2022, that's for sure. Let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for Mad Squirrels Roadkill. New England IPA, not really for me a New England IPA. 6.5%, nice looking that can artwork. It's an okay supermarket beer. Starting with aroma, well, as soon as you pop the can, you get these nice sort of juicy, quite fresh aromas. Lots of orange and passion fruit, a little bit of mango in there. That's really about it though. So I'm going to get 13 for aroma. Appearance, well, it's a nice hazy beer. Um, it's orangey, you know, as you'd expect with a beer where it's got Amarillo in it. It's got a nice sort of, I mean, the head's not massive now, but it's... Um, it looked pretty good when you first poured it out. So I'm giving it a solid 8 out of 10 for appearance. Flavour-wise, well, as I said, the star is really that really soft, pillowy, almost creamy mouthfeel. That's really great. It just the flavour doesn't really sort of, doesn't do that much. You're getting, a bit of, you're getting big bits of orange and passion fruit. And then there's a sort of harsh, sort of always orange rind. But that comes in really quickly. And then it just doesn't do much else, really. That flavour just sort of sits on the palate, really. And, and you're waiting for, like, oh, you're getting a bit more citrus or some grapefruit. And you're not getting it at all. There's a little bit of pine in there as well. Not what I would say associate, really, with New England IPAs in terms of flavour. It's much more of a sort of what I would just call an IPA because it's it's not got the sort of big hits of tropicalness, the big... Sort of, or the real sort of zesty um, citrus fruits. It's orangey passion fruit, slight bitter, slight marmalade. There's not really much sweetness. The orange is quite harsh, you know. It's almost, it's for me, it's got that sort of harsh, slightly orange rind bitterness right as soon as you taste it, which is not really what you want. So I'm giving it 32 for flavour. That's maybe generous, but it's given a few more points because it's got a really nice mouthfeel. Value for money. Well, it's a three quid, six and a half percent IPA from a supermarket. You know, again, I've had, I spent more on IPAs that are not, that are not as good as this, um, but I've bought a lot more that are better. But you can't really go wrong for three quid. So I'm giving it another solid eight out of 10 for value. And my overall experience, well, again, higher expectations. But for me, you know, that's two mad squirrel beers where you think it's, you're going to get a good beer because five different hops, you're expecting big hop forward, lots of flavours. But to me, the Amarillo just drowns out all the other sort of hop flavours that you've got with this beer. Very orangey, little bit of passion fruit. It's just that slight bitterness of when you just straight away with the orange, that rind sort of flavour. It spoils it a little bit for me. So it's not something that I'd rush out and buy again. There are much better beers in the supermarket. I mean, when I think of, again, you know, the best supermarket beers, Salt Alpaca, again, is the is the supermarket beer, especially in Sainsbury's. It has similar sort of, that's, I think, a Citra and Amarillo. has that slightly orange place to it, but it's just smoother. It's just not as harsh flavours, and there's more complexity to it. This is... This, if it was brewed in a slightly different way, it could be similar to that. It's got the mouthfeel, but it hasn't really got the, the flavour doesn't quite work. Maybe it's a, there's, there could be some inconsistency with the cans, but for me, there's too much harsh sort of piney orangey bitterness at the front end, which, you know, I don't want in a New England IPA. I'm going to hit 12 for overall experience. Tighten the scores up. We're still getting a recommended. For some people, they might like it. A 74 out of 100, but it's a supermarket beer, which you've got to sort of say, well, you know, there's a lot worse in the supermarkets. Unfortunately, there's a lot better. And if you're going in Sainsbury's, Salt Alpaca is better. Um, whether the other new ones that we've got, the Tiny Rebel, the Brew Dog, you know, the uh, the Buxton one, which I think the Buxton's a West Coast as West Coast. So whether there's another one, as you say, look out uh, in Sainsbury's because they are putting some other um, Northern Monk ones in there, which we haven't seen before. So that should be quite good. But this is not a bad beer, but it's just, there's so many more better beers out there. Um, but if you want to try it, let me know what you think. If you've had it before, it'd be interesting to know if it's changed much from, from before, whether it's got the same hops in it, those five different hops. But, um, you know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. And until the next one, you know what you're going to do. Keep on rocking.